Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and today I would like to return to a question that I get so often on my channel. And that question is, how do I shrink the crown of a cap that is just too tall for my liking? And the way I usually get the question is uh, some variation of, can I get it wet, throw it in a clothes dryer? Will that shrink the crown? And I tried it with one of my caps that I felt was always too tall, too big, and I just wanted to see, could I actually shrink the crown to answer that question once and for all? So on my right, right over here is the cap that I decided to experiment with. This is an Omaha Storm Chasers alternate cap. I bought it actually direct from their fan shop for that club. And I would recommend that if you're interested in minor league teams. I believe that they would probably get a bigger cut of the sale of that cap. Nonetheless, I get the cap delivered to my house, thought it was safe getting a seven and five eighths, which I was buying a lot at the time. I got a little tired of trying to stretch seven and a halves. This one arrived and it was gigantic in terms of the seven and five eighths. And I think all of us 5950 buyers are used to the variation or we've tried to cope with the variation in caps, but this thing was absolutely huge. Um, I had to start using filler strips on the inside of the sweatband. I tried just about everything to get this thing to get a more comfortable fit. One of the worst things with this particular cap is that it also flares out as you go up from the visor. So it's got this strange kind of angle and it's actually opening up into more volume the higher you go on the crown. So it's very visible from a front view of the cap and that's the sort of thing that drove me absolutely crazy when I would put on this cap. So I'm just gonna get the top of the crown wet. Um, basically, I'm not going to get any water on the visor because you never wanna get that wet. See, I've got the insert in there already so that when I toss it in the dryer, so hopefully prevent any extra damage to the cap from occurring, but hopefully we can get that shrink and still keep a good shape. Once that's good and soaked, I'm just going to wrap a towel around it, soak the excess off of that just so it's not dripping anymore. Now, the only other thing I did before getting this ready to throw into the dryer is just put this uh, storage tie strap with Velcro around the visor to prevent excessive uh, beating on the visor and making that weaker than it needs to be. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put this in. There happened to be a load of towels that I finished drying in the dryer, so I'm just gonna put the cap in with that. This will be the only wet thing in there, and the towels in there already will help to insulate it a little bit from taking uh, such a beating on the sides of the dryer. We're gonna throw this in for 20 minutes or so and see how it goes. So after about 20 minutes, 25 minutes in the dryer, it is completely dry. But the thing that I've noticed, and you probably noticed right away, is the strap that I had on here to keep the visor safe fell off, of course. Um, that might have been expected. But I was not expecting the bump cap insert to come out completely because I had that tucked into the sweatband. Maybe there was just too much room for that to move around and maybe it just got jostled a little bit too much. Um, it does appear that there's a little bit of puckering here. I can't see right away that there's been any shrinkage of the crown. Uh, in fact, I guess not, but it does feel dry. So I think this might be as much as we're going to get. And I'm going to um, maybe run another five minutes here and then try it on. There we are. So... Pretty hot. There's a lot of heat being dumped into this guy. Um, you can see again, it's really the back four panels that are probably being affected the most by this. Because if you see the front of the cap, you can still tell that this is still bowing out quite a bit. Maybe that's been exaggerated by the shrinkage of the panels, but that's the look I was trying to get rid of by trying to shrink the crown. But this buckram here is really resilient. I think that uh, the guidance that I always give on my channel is pretty correct here, which is it's very difficult to shrink those front two panels. And even by applying high heat, getting it completely soaked with water, the things that you would normally think to shrink, you're not able to do much unless you really wanna damage the cap. 
because um, if we went any higher with the heat or longer with the heat, I suspect that the plastic fibers inside the buckram would start to melt and that would not be good for anybody because then you get ripples in this front crown appearance and uh, that really doesn't look good if you like your fitteds looking crisp and kind of that tailored look. So nobody likes the ripples in the buckram. So with this one, there was no change in the crown. Uh, it still looks the same. The only thing that really happened was by putting it in the dryer, I did manage to shrink the back four panels of the cap. Therefore, I got a better fit around the perimeter. Now, when I put this cap on now, it actually fits my head a lot better. I don't need the weather strip anymore. It's a better fit to my head. So it's really that perimeter of the cap and the sizing inside of the sweatband that was reduced by the drying process. Now, the second answer that I usually give also seems to hold up, and that is the crown can be shaped. Even if it can't be shrunk, it can be shaped to give you a more appropriate shape for what you want out of your caps. Some of you like uh, the boxy look that comes out of the blocking from the factory. Um, others like a little bit more rounded crown, and I've, again, posted videos on how to do that. But you really take advantage of the heat in there and actually you can push this back, you can form it with the palms of your hands. If you steam that buckram and uh, heat up the plastic enough to where it's pliable and soft, you can actually form that to be a better shape for your own look and head and the style of cap that you wanna wear. Now with this particular Storm Chasers cap, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to get rid of the chef's hat appearance as much as I try to shape the crown, which is pretty round already. There's nothing I can do for that increase in volume that happens as you go up the cap. So to wrap it up, um, if you are wondering and you're tempted to ask that question again on one of my videos, can I shrink a crown that's too tall? I would say that my answer is once again, no. The only thing you can really do is try and shape that crown to get a better look for you, but you're not going to be able to shrink it because that buckram just provides too much structure and you're not gonna be able to reduce that because it's bonded to the fabric. Now, down below in the description, I've got links to some of my best videos in terms of how to shape, stretch, otherwise edit and maintain your caps. So check those out if you're further interested. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.